Hi guys, welcome to this uh, setup. We've um, used the ISO that we're gonna launch or use for the end of March 2103.9. And I've installed everything and I end up in a black screen. What did I do wrong? Well, first off, uh, let's make again a mention of the Arclinx Calamaris tool, which makes it easy for you to guys to choose between BTRFS, XFS, JFS, Riser, or X4. If you want to have X4, don't do anything, it's standard. Going for Riser and save and close and running Calamaris then. <clears throat> A little bit to the right, okay, fine. So we are at this particular version of Calamars. It's getting better, it's not perfect, it's getting better. Now, I made the mistake not to click here, Linux kernel. You know the drill. Arch Linux is always, always putting out Linux kernels. Here is one, right? That's the one. So what's the problem? It has been mentioned in previous videos, but we can show it you again in this one, this setup. There is a match, there is a union, like a marriage, between a Linux kernel and NVIDIA. And what you're doing now is having an old kernel with a new NVIDIA. If I click here, and I will click here because this machine requires NVIDIA, but it requires also the new Linux kernel, and the new Linux kernel is here to download. All right? So when you install everything, let's do, let's make the mistake, right? Let's uh, get into a black screen and then solve it. What we need to select there was the Linux kernel. Also get the latest Linux kernel because they're a duo. They need to be together. And if you don't, you'll end up in a black screen. So we have now Riser FS, just for your information down here. And you can choose all these kinds of things, plus encrypt or not. And then we'll have to just let the machine do its work. Now this video can't be um, put on pause. There's no option in this particular application for it. So I'll have to wait till everything installs and show you a black screen. In the meantime, I'll roll over to my other computer since we are now testing out the version 2103.9 on all our PCs here. In the meantime, I'm uh, installing Arch Linux uh, Plasma, BTRFS, no swap, we swap. Let's take swap, no hibernate this time, and then install everything.
شما استن هستی and this machine is installing as well so the machine at the back several machines at the same time right computer this is an Apple's D Gnome let's install side by side Apple X and Apple's D simply in Calamara's sake install what is it called again side by side or something like that and then I have an ArcMix D and an Arc Linux. And it's one of the ways to actually learn because you have one partition that boots up with a full fledged system that works, right? Arc Linux flagship. And then the other one, ArcMix D, which is uh, very minimal, the most minimal you can have. And run your scripts or run, install your packages. And um, let's now crash our system. <laughs> That's why we're making this video. Right. Again, another video. What happens? What if you have a black screen? What can you do? And this is what we get. I think I need to tilt it a little bit higher, like this. So it's in the top screen always, right? The top right, uh, top left, uh, we see some kind of things. Riser FS, super block in block. That's cool. File system is clean. That's also cool. And then nothing happens, right? Doesn't matter what format we're using. This is just that the match is not okay. Linux, an old Linux kernel with a new NVIDIA package, are not gonna work. And this is, and we will stay waiting and waiting and waiting. So the reflex is Control alt F1, F2, F3, F4, just choose one. That's TTY for you, and you log in, and the only thing you have to remember is update. Update your system. And what comes in, we've just, we just saw it, right? It's the 5.11.4 that is going to 5.11.5 .5 Linux kernel. And that's it. The one does not match the other. All what we have to do is match them again. So like I said earlier, maybe always a good thing is to repeat if you see no updates and it might be that the mirrors are not synced yet. So choose another mirror and see if you get something in. That's one of the reasons, can be many reasons why there are black screens, but this is common sense. If you know it, of course, that one package is built against the other package. And if the other package is older or newer, uh, -uh not gonna work. So update and make sure both are, well, basically built against each other from the same time. Normally no issues, but it is, it's a timing issue as well, right? What is synced first, the kernel or the driver on the server you're using? All right, sudo reboot sr. There we are. Strange, right? Not strange if you know why. Not strange at all. Up all. Anything from the AOR coming in. We're good to go. This is ISO for end of March. Is NVIDIA working, Eric? It is. If you can launch this, you know it's working and it's the general uh, NVIDIA driver. Okay? That's it for me. Pause on the knowledge, tell other people. If you see people stuck in, in black screens and have an video, this is it. Cheers.